What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. Or oh, sick Zach Novak. In today's video, source location and inventory. I'm sick. Let's roll the intro. Let's get around to it and I do hope you enjoy. <laughs> Alrighty, so in today's video, Zor is chilling at Watcher's Grave. So once you spawn in, jump on your sparrow and head up in this direction. The good old tentacled faced bastard is actually chilling up in the big tree. Fingers crossed he's got something good this week. Let us have a look. I bring a message from the nine. Will Zor is that message from the Nine to actually state that you're gonna have better loot because, well, actually you are, which is surprising. Now with the update that actually is coming with Joker's Wild, we and ourselves are actually getting a Zor upgrade. So as it does state, DMG does actually state himself, Zor will be updated to offer Forsaken Exotics in the next week's update. That in itself is pretty freaking hype. Also, they do actually state Fated Engrams will not actually offer Forsaken Exotics. This, however, will be looked at in the future of the update. So that in itself kind of could be interesting. Depends on if they actually do change that in the future. But, I'm actually stating, Zor is still the snake face bastard that we all remember from D1. However, his actual rotation of items from various releases does change and actually means he won't always sell a Forsaken Exotic. So keep that in mind, however they do state the team is also looking at the perks that can roll on armor pieces to make his weekly stock a little bit more exciting. But before we kind of continue with that, let's just go for what he's got this week because, okay, this week it's not horrible, but holy Jesus that he's giving me excitement for the future. Now we'll actually have a video that I should have done yesterday, but I've just been seriously sick for. I think the last two days and it's getting worse. So I thought why as well actually go ahead and do a video later today that will actually be about the update for Joker's Wild before I do actually lose my voice. But this week for Zor's inventory, we got ourselves the Claws of Amkara as the starting point. 23 legendary shards for this D1 exotic board of D2 that's still actually surprisingly decent. Main perk is actually called the Whispers, gain an additional melee charge. So yeah, pretty flat out and pretty awesome in itself just because, you know, two melees can actually be better than one. This in itself, I honestly do state is kind of actually, you know, intrinsically good for PvE. PvP, it's alright, it's not the greatest, but I'd prefer to wear something else. PvE, however, this thing actually is pretty viable. Secondary perks on it, we got ourselves a fusion rifle loader, we got hand cannon loader, and we've also got impact induction. As well as, but not limited to, we've also got ourselves sniper rifle scavenger and machine gun scavenger. Pretty nice, pretty decent. Once again, 23 legendary shards for the Claws of Amkara for the Warlock. Pick them up if you have not got them. Moving on, next up, we got ourselves the Peacekeepers for the Titan. 23 legendary shard for a very underused exotic. This in itself has the main perk called Mecha Holster. Reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. Improves your handling with SMGs and your movement while wielding one. This in itself it's not great, but it's not actually the worst. It definitely is undervalued and definitely not one of the greatest, but it actually is still kind of useful in some situations, especially if you're using something like the Risk Runner. This thing actually is pretty decent. Secondary perks on it, we've got ourselves a Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, and Outreach, as well as, but not limited to, we've also got ourselves a Scout Rifle Scavenger, and Special Ammo Finder. Not too bad, not the greatest, but definitely not the worst. Once again, 20 legendary shards, pick it up if you have not got it, but moving on, next up, we've got ourselves the Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter or Huntress. 20 legendary shards for this D1 Exotic, bought a D2 that is not as amazing as it was but still actually fairly decent. Main perk on it is actually called Upgraded Sensor Pack. Provides radar while you're aiming and enhances your radar resolution while crouched. This thing in itself, if you are a campy person, it actually is pretty decent and honestly pretty good in 
a lot of PvP situations, surprisingly. Secondary perks on it, we've got ourselves fusion rifle targeting, hand cannon targeting, as well as hands on but not limited to. We've got ourselves sniper rifle scavengers and machine gun reserves. Not too bad, not the worst. 22 legendary shards, pick it up. If you have not got it, that's all I really want to say about it because it's not as amazing as it kind of was. But it actually is still pretty decent. So again, 2300 shards, if you haven't got it, add it to your collection by picking this up. Next up, and finally, with the exotic gear for this week, we've got ourselves the Colony, the exotic grenade launcher. 29 legendary shards for this very OP exotic that still is surprisingly really OP. Main perk on it is actually called Insectoid Robot Grenades. This weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them, as well with its actual secondary, you know, intrinsic perk actually being served the colony. Insectoid Robot Grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. In other words, if you are switching out from your heavy to your primary to your special, your heavy will be reloaded by the time you pull it back out. This thing in itself actually is pretty decent in really everything, both PvE and PvP, PvP more so than PvE, but still this thing actually is pretty decent. It does actually look pretty cool with different ornaments on it, I kind of like the vice still because it just looks cool. But anyway, once again, pick this thing up if you have not got a 29 legendary shards. Moving on, next up, to the consumables. Now hopefully the consumables will actually be updated with the new stuff in the actual Joker's Wild update, but for now we've got the Five of Swords challenge card, considering this is the last week that you can actually, you know, kind of go through and see Zor like his old self, maybe go ahead and pick this thing up if you haven't actually picked it up as of yet. This thing allows you to make challenging nightfalls more challenging by adding challenging modifiers on top of the already challenging modifiers that are existing in the challenging nightfall. However, that challenging challenges makes those challenging modifiers more challenging during the challenging nightfall. In other words, more challenging nightfalls and higher scores. Who doesn't like higher scores? More chance of getting better loot. And finally moving on, we've got ourselves the Isochronal Engram, also known as the Fated Engram. 97 legendary shards, and you get encrypted into an exotic that you don't actually own unless you have all the exotics available from the collection that is actually for Forsaken. That in itself, you can actually get some pretty good rolls on some pieces of armor. That in itself is actually going to be updated when Sword does change again, and there is going to be even better perks available on some of the sets of armor. That in itself is something to keep in mind, but for now, what do we actually get from this faded engram? Let us see, we get ourselves the colony. Bungie! Really? Like seriously? What? I've already got I've already got a colony. Just why? Like god damn it. Well anyway, I will state the colony in itself again is actually pretty decent and I mean hey it's not the worst because I've already got a masterwork but again I would prefer some armor so let's just kind of go ahead and get rid of this it does suck when it costs you 97 legendary shards to only get back five because you didn't actually get some good armor but anyway this has been Zor's location and inventory for the weekend. This has been Zach Novak, who has been severely sick. Hopefully this video isn't too nasally and I do kind of still, you know, sound enough where you guys can tell that it's me and actually understand what I'm saying. But anyway, once again, Zor's location, this has been Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff and I'll be Sharon like Karen if he was Ed Sharon. But until next time, share this video around, it does help out the channel, helps out you guys and helps out other people to actually see some of my content if they do actually, you know, like my said content. But until next time, once again, do all that good stuff and I'll be sharing like Kieran ever he was and Sharon. But until next time, this is Zach Novak, signing off, peace out.